Hey guys, this is uh, Will with Fish Tanks and Koi Ponds. I decided to narrate the movie of my 55 gallon reef update because I've had many, many requests to do a tour of my sump and it's kind of hard to do without talking about it. So, this is my 55 gallon soon to be reef tank. At first, this is just a tour. That's some of my live rock work. That's a Coralia 3 pumping water in the back of my rock so I don't have stagnant areas. Those are two Sergeant Major damsels flying by. There's a skunk cleaner that, you, that I'll zoom into later. There's a bunch of green-eyed zoas right there. Um, that looks like that's the male, I mean the female, false percula clown, Ocellaris, and there's a little male. There's another skunk cleaner. That's just some of my rock work. Now I'm starting to zoom in on that cleaner. He's a pretty cool one. He's actually part of a pair in his... um female is somewhere in the back. Green-eyed zoas. Some of them are closed up right now because I was just had my hand in the tank and probably swapped it around a little bit. <coughs> Male clown always says hello and this, then the cleaner tries to jump on top of them. They close up. They open back up again in a minute. That's actually pretty funny to see. That's the um, pretty big feather duster. Now those are some snails. I actually got 200 of them for $14 on eBay, which was great. Now this is the whole tank for you to see. <coughs> That's the overflow box. Now I'm going to start to do a tour of the sump. The water overflows into that eShop's overflow box. Goes over. It has some pads and a muffler made out of quarter inch tubing works great, not intrusive, was really easy to put together. There's a light in the sump just for the video, just so you guys can see it. That's not always there. The water flows down into the tube that you see right there. Goes in using an, using an elbow. That's one inch PVC. Goes over my glass top that I built goes into a spills into a pad which is actually a micron pad it's a really really um, non-dense pad drips over a plastic DIY drip plate with well, a whole sumps DIY into bio balls and then on there there's some ceramic rings then that's actually the outlet of my core life super skimmer which I'll get to later then there's a, a ball valve to reduce water flow that you can see right there right in front of you the white and red that that tells how the amount of water I want in the sump amount of water in the tank and there's a check valve right there to produce back to reduce back siphoning so it's overflow ready and it goes up and spills out into with the DIY elbow as the return and this is there's the then this is the skimmer it's a core life super skimmer 125 I love it a lot of nice micron bubble foam, micro bubble foam. Right now I have it skimming in between wet and dry. It fills up about once a week, once every four days with a medium, pretty dark but pretty wet skimmate. I like it like that. It's perfect. Now it, there, it drains into this little three-quarter gallon beaker. Pitcher, pitcher. And it's actually a lot darker, not on the camera. And that's my Belkin Surge protector with all my plugs plugged in. I probably have two sockets that I can use. It's my thermometer. Keep the tank at 78 to 80. Most of the time it's at about 79. Yeah, the sump just buy balls for mechanical, the I mean for biological, the pad for mechanical and spills under into the thing. Now this is the tank. That's a torch coral who's closed up. He's really sensitive when I put my hands in the water. He closes up. That's the algae blenny. Lawnmower blenny just flew by. These are some new polyps that are barely even opened yet. I got them last night. And they're in a lot higher flow than they were in the pet store. So they'll get used to the tank. That's where that other skunk cleaner is hiding. I think he's back there munching on a piece of squid that... I mean, not squid, shrimp that I that I gave him.
that's my lighting fixture. It's a cheapo Odyssey. I think I spent eighty dollars for it. It's working great right now. Two hundred and twenty watts. I'm really happy for the eighty dollars. This is my Aquafuge small hang on back refuge. <coughs> it's great. It's got a, about a pound of refuge mineral mud, about a big clump, probably the size of a frisbee of macroalgae, and a lot of live rock rubble. I love it. And this to the left, which I'm about to show you, is my DIY another refugium with the big clump of macro chadomorpha. They both have chadomorpha made out of an aqua clear 70 filter. And that big, dense, not dense, actually not dense pad, really, really like open weaves, not to kill any copy pods in there, just to polish the water a little bit. And then back down to the sump, I'm actually grabbing some food. I feed them the New Life Spectrum Marine Formula. I love it. I feed all my fish NLS. It's great. Now, excuse this. I'm just putting the camera down so I can open up the food, show you how they eat. There you go. <coughs> excuse me. Now, here I'm feeding the fish. They're not too crazy. I was just messing with their lights a little bit, but the sergeant majors are always eating and the clowns are always right behind them. Don't forget, this tank is really new. It's going to look a lot better when I get all my coral in. This is only, I think it's about the fifth week, fourth week, but for that, it's doing great. It's got about 60 pounds of Aragalive black live sand slash gravel. thought it was a lot thinner when I bought it online, but there's nothing you can do about that. And here I'm going to show you, this is with one of the tank's lights off so it's dimmed this is with both the tanks lights off this is with everything off this is with the moonlight and the refugium off so this is just plain old moonlight to the tank looks pretty cool you see the yeah I did the dub over for the requests I probably am skipping over my own voice right now but I also wanted to add that when I said I built, it was all me and a good friend of mine, Tom. I'm not putting a last name on YouTube that built the sump. And comments and ratings are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.